Well, it seems the LCS regions were wanting to get out of that bowl very quickly. <laughs> Fnatic, the number one seed from Europe, will sit atop Group B. Fnatic atop of Group B, the Season 1 World Championship, uh, world Champions rider returning to the World Championships once again. And while the organization has done so good in the history of League of Legends, and this season they have absolutely dominated Europe. They were the Spring Split Champions, and they had a 21-0 winning streak before getting beaten by Origin. But they didn't lose the finals, they even got that over in Stockholm. At the beginning of the season, it was four rookies and Yellow Star. Yellow Star now in his fifth World Championship. We're going to have to see what they can do. The hope of Europe is on their shoulders. It certainly is. Here are the teams in Group A. Counter Logic Gaming, the Flash Wolves, the Koo Tigers, and Pain Gaming. And next we have the four teams in Group B. It is Fnatic, Invictus Gaming, AHQ Esports, and Cloud9. And here are the Group C teams, SK Telecom, H2K, Edward Gaming, and the Bangkok Titans. And finally, we have Group D with LGD Gaming, KT Rolster, Team Solo Mid, and Origin. I come from Paris and it's like my hometown. It's always good to come back. For me, I was a bit worried before the world because it's like first time world for my uh, career. For me, it feels like Worlds has been around for like a month already. Like ever since we went to Korea, I feel like Worlds started for us. First month of the year, like I wasn't even like thinking about the world, but now I'm here at the world with the like first seed. So yeah, it's actually like pretty much like dream comes true. They didn't put our here, by the way. Is there a cover uh, like as usual? As usual. Since not, it's actually unlucky, by the way. It disappeared. Do you not have camera for so long? Say hi. Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Look at the hole. No, look at the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Penis. <laughs> can you can you say that? Beep beep. <laughs> to walk you through the opening ceremony portion of tomorrow's events. Starting with the first game and opening the World Championship is definitely a, an honor, but it's also very nerve-wracking. I'd be happier to play like third, fourth game. It's nice to start the first match because you start earlier. It doesn't really change anything for me, to be honest. <laughs> Les Européens sont ici chez nous, chez eux, bien évidemment. Un tonnerre d'applaudissements pour ces trois équipes, s'il vous plaît, Paris. We are feeling pretty good as a team because of the boot camp in Korea. We spent one month there and we have improved a ton. It made all of us a lot more confident. We had great scrim results against every team. Fabi Van is definitely a beast. He's super confident now and he will show some, show some new things. Can you go in, please? And uh, look at what's happening over there. What is happening? Oh, it's very upset. What is it? Yeah. What is this? Four, four hours t-shirts. It's a... Do so you need to Yeah, there's a dealer. Okay. I think Please I would like to open it. Oh, there is no white. Yeah. Open it. Oh, shit. Look at the badge. What is this? 
pin badge. Look at the other side of the bag. Take it out, open. Hey, take that off. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna make a piercing on my nipple. So that's where I'm gonna put it. It means we're going Berlin, right? Of course. We're going to Paris. So we're going everywhere. Is it real? Do you mean real <laughs> plastic or <laughs> real plastic? <laughs> I mean real cover, you know? At least the no, cover. No, 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 no. Cover, of man. course not. You will go sell it straight away. Cool. Not right, the bed. Right. I'll keep it like if it's gold. Oh. <laughs> if it's not gold, I'll maybe I see. Polish. I'm gonna wear this. You can wear it tomorrow before the game. Can I fart? Oh, but I, <laughs> I, I thought the one thing to... I think it was Huni, the, the guy who fart on the <laughs> room, by the way. No, you cannot hold it. I did. Oh my god. <laughs> I think this is going to be the hardest game against Invictus Gaming. Because people say that this is the best Chinese team right now. They have like superstars like Rookie, Kakao, they are really high rated by players. I think it's like people don't expect us to like win world, you know, but like people expect us to play good. For me personally, like winning the first game is everything, you know, it makes you more comfortable as a player, more confident. I think it's really important to start and just first game winning and then keep it that on the winning streak. We are not afraid of any strong team so whoever will show up we'll have to play against them and we're ready for that Eugene <laughs> finally those ugly converse comes up how, how, how do you know there is their name yeah. oh. Oh. Holy oh. Shit. Read the back. what the back. Thank you. Holy shit! We have to wear it now? Of course! Holy shit! But it's so sick! Holy shit! Season three worlds. I feel this is the best Western team we've had ever since season three worlds. It doesn't matter what we happen in the game, just communicate, okay? And everyone, I want everyone following Boracles, okay? So we, if we just are spot on with the, our communication, okay, and we just trust everyone, follow Boracles, we got it. Let's go, boys. One, two, three. Ready! Ready! Oh. 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 Don't worry. <laughs> The ladies and gentlemen, for the game one of the 2015 World Championships, we are into picks and bands. And the dunk master Darius is yeah. dunked into the bands. Not really the, a big surprise. Fiora and Darius, as you just mentioned, are being hyped up quite a lot as well. So what, Let's go, boys. what's open? I think it's just your pick. Yeah, there is no way they would pick mid lane here. I wonder what Huni will end up playing and how much priority is on the first pick. Really not that much, it seems. Sivir, okay. you want Sivir? Yeah. yeah. I want more. Shen, Shen, Shen Sevier. Shen Sevier. No, we should really gank, right? That's a very interesting pick of Shen this early from Fnatic. I go Hakarim. 
ladies and gentlemen, let's get back onto the rift for game one of the group stages. They're moving down blind, essentially, to where they want to go. Dynamic Dynamic top rift in the other side. He has on the hunt down the cocoon. Kitties is caught and he's killed by Rainover. First blood to the Europeans, Fnatic. That's a teleport, that's an arrow. The He's arrow the does go on Feather them, it's instantly cleansed. Dragon secured, they turn their focus to Kakao. There's the team fight, Onslaught of Shadows throws IG's backline. Zatai's forced to retreat. They've traded one for one thus far, but Reckless takes out Rookie. Now they're looking for Kakao. He's Cocoon! Kakao is down, Rainer but gets another one. Here's the teleport from Huni. he has flank. He's found Zatai, the Onslaught slows him down. to the wall. It's a battle on three fronts, and it's a battle that Fnatic is winning. That's a triple kill for Reckless. There's two more targets in his sight. He's looking for more. He has the tower dive. Huni is chasing Kid down. A flash away. The ricochet. It's bouncing. It's spinning. Reckless, can he get oh, more? So the boomerang's not there. Huni and Reckless are inside the base of IG. Showing off a little bit. Can go back. That's a surrender wow. from IG. They know the game was over. Invictus Gaming surrender, and the hometown heroes strike first blood at the 2015 World Championships. Good job. We started off the game kind of like with a bit of nerves, I would say. I think we made some mistakes early on in the game. But I think once like everyone got into it, we just played our game and then IG didn't have anything to say about that. It feels kind of good to start off with a win like this one because IG are supposed to be one of the stronger teams here at Worlds and we kind of just, yeah, just rolled over them, you know? And they even surrendered to us. We were all surprised. We didn't know that they would give up like this, even though the game was almost over, maybe we needed five more minutes. The team was so focused, they were so ready for it. Doesn't matter how good the enemy team was, we're, I know that in that match we, we were going to do good. I was like too focused that I was not like realizing that I had first blood of the world, you know? But after the match, I reviewed the, the matches and then like people were saying, oh, first blood for the world is going for rain over. So it was like, I was pretty happy about it. Oh, look, heavy traffic. Uh, someone hasn't read the notes? Yes, who I didn't. I didn't. You didn't? Ooh, no, no, not yet. I didn't have time. Oh, read the fucking notes. I didn't have time. I play the game. I play the game. Notes are useless. Okay, after the meeting, read the notes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> Stop repeating what we're <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, why is that? We, we said the same, it's tough, but I got punishment. And the because because, because I he, first, yeah, first. and he's not lying, and you're... Can you focus on draft? Because we didn't have time enough. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're facing HQ, and the last time we've played against them was a few months ago at MSI, and we've lost against them. They beat us really hard. I think we, we've improved a lot since then and we really want to show that we got better and we want to take our revenge against them. At MSI, this guy was super good on Rek'Sai, only. And people just ban Rek'Sai against this guy. In this case, it means that this side of jungle will respawn, right? Yeah. Because if you start here and you, you come here, you do this side and then we take a tower, then no, no, we you will have this side plus this we side. We should do it like this, no? Because no, no, no. everyone really wants to win because not only they, they won against us last time but also we want to prove people that we are a team that people have to fear. Mm -hmm. If we can, like I need to see <laughs> people crossing here. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that you this remember your pink cover, look, this cover here. Really? Look, yeah. look at this you remember your pink cover? cover? In the base. <laughs> here? Ah. here. You know that Huni placed the pink here in the game, right? Why? He, he misclick. When he walked out of base, Why he placed it here. You're so in the middle of the base. Uh, yeah. I don't no. think anyone realized that. Okay, okay. So Why are you panicking? Hey, 
I'm just nervous as fuck because of this trade. No. <coughs> Stop. 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 Need to focus. It was for me really nervous because of just opening game. I could see like Fabian, Huni and Rainover struggling slightly perhaps because they are after all new to Worlds. It's their first year both professionally and at Worlds. I try to help out as much as possible especially since I'm sharing room with Fabian. I'm asking him questions, how he's feeling, what I can do to help him. Just any basic things that can make him more comfortable and then I know if we're all, all on point we have a very good shot at winning these games. down by that undertow, trying to get away. Westor coming from the side, Mountain with the repel. Albus trying to get in there, he's gonna flash over the wall, pick up his friend here. Yellowstar in a lot of trouble, gonna go down. Westor gets the kill, gets taken out though, as Huni comes in, it's a brawl. There's the zone, he's used by Fedovim, it's another kill for Rainover. Yes, Sam's still a touch from the side, a lot of members low for Fnatic, that's kills all over for AHQ. Meanwhile, Huni still going out with on, he gets the kill. There's going to be a fight, Fish on the Yellow Star yet again. On coming in from the side, on a post, Rainover trying to get to him with that Ragnarok. A kill comes in already for Fnatic. Ziff getting low finally. Albus so healthy with that Greyhound. Not anymore. That's a double kill Ooh. for Reckless. Yellow Star finally gets taken out. It's a triple kill though for Reckless. And finally, Hootie takes him. There's a double kill for Ziff though on the other side. Here they go, Silver all popped already. Feminine on the outside of the fight doing the damage. Ziff trying to get back there, a kill for him already. Huni not really doing a lot. And now AHQ, they've got Fnatic on the run. Reckless has to pop that spell shield. Big shockwave though, they could maybe turn it around. No, it's a double kill for Ziff, even though he is out of the fight. Rainover barely, barely lives. This could open up a Baron though for AHQ. Hulk popped out by Westor. Devin pops that Zonia. That's can he live through it right in the flame choppers? Big shockwave though. AHQ still with the edge as Rainover and the rest of Fnatic make a run for it. There's a double kill for Westor. This one looks like it could be over. Yellowstar turns for the stun. It's not enough. It's going to be another near ace. Booney wasn't even there. Ziv has done such a great job carrying this game back to Meganar. One last time throws Huni against the Nexus that AHQ is about to take out. AHQ takes down Fnatic. Everybody expected Fnatic to take the 6-0 and and then the remaining members to fight for second place. And I think we didn't respect them enough and uh, we're into the, into the game with not the optimal mindset. And once we're into the, in, in the game, we actually didn't play the comp properly. We took too many skirmishes, we rushed fights and we basically didn't play patient enough. They just need to understand that this is a lesson, so there's things to learn from it. If they just focus on 
what we've done wrong and what's the lesson and what we need to learn and then just move on and move into the next game because you cannot be focusing on what's been wrong and just be down forever. You need to focus on the next game and continue rolling. I wouldn't say that Cloud9 is a solid team, but I wouldn't say they are bad either. I think they play the map in a smart way. If you put pressure on one side of the map, they will not try to fight your pressure, they will try to create pressure on the other side of the map. So they, are, they rotate fast and they have this style. Even though individually maybe they don't have really good five players, they know how to play their composition as a team. So I think it's going to be an interesting match. They're good at seeking. They trade towers. If we put pressure on one side of the map, they will put pressure on the other side of the map. Okay, so we really need to be aware of this. Okay, so good communication, uh, controlling the vision, playing around, around our spikes, playing around the spikes of the enemy team. We can't miss it. One, two, three. Ready! TPing in now behind them, so they're going for it. Flash engage comes in, Black Shield on a sneaky high, can disengage someone with the kick, flashes in and binds on different people. High's the first kill though, goes to Reckless. Hoonie's on the chase, sneaky has to flash away. A one for nothing so far, Fnatic top lane outer should be going Get down, him. but the flash engage, holy cow! Rainer was close by, he's gonna try to get this one, the kick comes through, Shrap him onto a few and down goes the big members, but Incarnation took the Baron. Reckless on the chase though, picking up a lot, only one survivor, it's Lemonation. Is he gonna play all time? I mean, it's a 1v4, he's gonna die. Ace is for Fnatic. 3,000 health, here comes the team, massive knock of, oh dear lord, that's gonna be brutal. Blue team does pick up the Baron, the kills are trading, Balls does so much damage, a spell shield from Reckless, he gets crit, here goes Sneaky, the old is not oh, quite oh. Incarnation gets it, two deaths versus three, Cloud9 come out ahead. Triple pressure on all the lanes. Oh, be careful. Engage here. Here's the jump in. It's a two-man ult. He catches balls. Sneaky is out. There's a turret alive. Though. They gotta be careful. A big knockback, and that's the kill into Morgana. Azir goes down as well, but the dunks are coming through. A double kill for balls. A triple kill for that's balls. Nice. Holy cow! The kill. kill for balls. Holy cow! And it means they might win the game right now. Look they at the win their timers. Goal. 30 seconds. Would you believe it? This is the group where three teams could have taken first place, but it's Cloud9 who did it. The fourth that no one counted in. The seventh place North American LCS team. The Cinderella story is still alive. They are undefeated in the World Championship. We just kept giving them too many objectives. I felt like people were scared because there is a lot at stake. We didn't really show our real form. What's your, your, your like, new girlfriend? I, I don't know. Dude. Okay. We you cannot have girlfriend. I don't we're have lose. girlfriend. I we're don't gonna talk lose. To. We're gonna lose, please. I don't talk to her unless she talks to me. Look, uh, I don't talk with girls. Kasadin. Fabi bit Kasadin loves League L. No, no, no. Uh, what was it? Her name starts with C. Oh. Go sit next to the coach, bro. Oh. You have to get punished. Uh, no. <laughs> Not the drive? Yeah. There, there is potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Ah, it's so hard. A anyway, it's bone. Hey! So, yeah, but hey. there is meat inside. inside is it really snails? The snails are snails? Yeah. Is it what good? Is, what is bone? Uh, we, is it disgusting? We, 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 we usually eat that at Christmas. Is it, but it's also an it's not disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. Okay, I'll go for snails. First time in my life. What is tender, braised, endives? 
and, and, and dive is vegetable. Yeah, it's, oh. it's you remember the white stuff I, I told yeah. you? Yeah, it's this. Oh, okay, okay. Bor Bor what is Borgogun? Bor Bor Borgogun is, is a uh, wine. wine. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, what in this that? case, it's called Borgogun. Borgogun is a city. Yeah, I don't know this is a. Uh, this is a. 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 This is This Work it, then you, you, you pull it down. Yeah. Don't Work twist this. Pull it down. Oh. Can I drink this? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna get sick. Bye. Bye. We should not to wear clothes ever, because we're still in Korea. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not cold. You know, I know, but still. Going to the last three games, we don't really feel down because the games we've played before are done, so we cannot change anything anymore. We shouldn't feel down, sad, anything. We should be positive and really hungry to win because nothing is over yet. It's just the beginning. Now, going to the next game, we've learned from our mistakes and we can actually perform and show people that we actually deserve our spot. How long will it take? Seven hours. What's the difference if I say one hour, two hours, or three hours? Okay. I just want to know information. I'm just asking. Okay. Why are you so in defensive mode, by the way? <laughs> I agree. Always defensive mode. Oh, oh, oh. Make it, well, we have a substitute in worst case. <laughs> make sure, you didn't make sure to be to make ask sure, in every meeting how sure long to, the meeting will take. Make sure okay? to question Louis, by the way. Why would you ever question Louis? He's always right. No, that's not even. I would like to always be right. I think people, including myself, really, really felt like I want to do more, you know? We want to do more, you know? We want to show that we actually are a really, really great team and that we're a contender for this whole thing, you know? It's bad as fuck. Well. I hate Olaf. Yeah, I said, he's most yes, he's champion. champion in Summoner's I, I can just see Eugen running in and <laughs> yeah. he's never coming back. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm CBA waiting for you until he dies. Every team fight. <laughs> and they, oh, they're pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fabian, you, you didn't have boots? 
you know the kids really want to carry. They don't trust in you. Either we go like three zero week two, or we're not gonna get that first seed that we so badly want. Taking the number one seed is a really huge advantage because if you qualify having the first seed means that you're supposed to have a weaker opponent in the quarterfinals. They have Vega and Morgan and Tristan. What are you going to do? Even if you put three champs on the mid lane? Kill them. How? TP? Behind? So you have to flank them. That's what I said. Today is the last day of the group stage, so we're going to play three matches. Basically, we cannot do any mistakes because we can better qualify, which is what we're aiming for, obviously. If we don't manage to win at least two games, then it's going to be a really bad day for us. Bora and Jijin, I want both of you uh, constantly communicating, okay? So we create or destroy pressure in the, where we need in the map, okay? So Jijin, I want you to be asking frequently to Bora uh, where you should be in the map, okay? Also Jijin, I, uh, I don't, when we are backing after an objective or a fight or whatever, I don't want to overstay. It's really important that we are back on time, okay? Okay, Fabian, for you, I want to you giving information all the time about your lane, okay? Even if you're ahead or behind, you have to create plans around where you need the ward, if you need cover, if you need ganks, counter ganks, okay? If you can pressure, if you can, if you can go inside the enemy jungle, okay? Everything. I want you communicating all the time. Martin, I want you to be the nexus of communication, okay? So I want you to pick all the comms, I want you to help create plans, refreshing information, everything, okay? And Huni, I want you to be rock solid, okay? And I want you to coordinate with Jujin, okay? Around ganks, this all all this in early game, okay? And from mid game, I want you to help Bora assigning lanes, okay? And creating plans around the fights, okay? So, so guys, high communication, controlling the vision, playing as a team, okay? And we got this. And today, I want to show the world how fucking good we are, okay? One, two, three, flash Though. Kills the spider link. The current lands as high as taking a fair bit of damage. Decides not to go into spider form. There it is. There's now Incarnation making his way over. Trying to get some damage onto the spider as they head all in for it. First blood to rain over as this yellow star just comes down from the top lane as Incarnation's going to fall as well. Yellow star grabbing a kill and. Got to bypass everything as Meganar's coming in. Incarnation immediately stunned against the wall. Well, it goes down. Chaos Storm as Forbidden comes in as well. And high is going to secure the off one. Can he make it out of here though? Chaos Storm hunts him for a bit. Yellow Star flashes after him. Bloodthirsty support action. High making his way and looking for Yellow Star, but it's pretty tanky. There's the flash kick as Lemonation's trying to pick this one up. Shadow Dash comes out. Another Q lands. Exhaust immediately onto High. The binding dodge by Yellow Star gets through the base gate. High still wants it. Misses the Q. Has to get out, but can't. Towards the inhibitor turret. Uh, the Mega, rocket. Maybe Rocket doesn't find him. Casually lists to the left, I believe is what he called that maneuver of Reckless. He's trying to answer this one. Stand United. Yellow Star with the place for Biven. Secures the kill over the top. And Fnatic in the meantime take two turrets in the top lane. C9 is just so desperate right now. This is going to be the end of the game with everybody except for High Dead. Fnatic came to play week oh, two. Yeah. They have something to prove on Summoner's Rift this time around. The Nexus is going to be falling, and Fnatic looking so much better this time around against Cloud9. Look at his face. We played really good, so I'm really happy.
I want everyone to be a little bit more chill, a little bit more calm. Okay, I don't want to get super excited and clutter the comms. Okay, so the same thing. I want Eugene and Bora communicating constantly. Eugene talk with Bora all the time to create pressure or destroy pressure, pressure in the map. Okay. Okay, Huni. Again, rock solid. Okay, like in the last game. Talking with Jijin, if you want a tower dive, whatever, whatever you need, and then helping uh, Bora assign the lanes. Okay, and sh sh calling for the team fights. Okay, Fabian and Martin, both of you. Okay, continue with the communication, high communication, all the time, giving information about your lanes. Okay, and helping, helping the rest. Okay, so high communication, playing, playing the map, warding. We got this. One, two, three. Fire! Chill out, huh? Chill out, guys. into a bunch of CC the stun lands as well. Look at the chaining! And of course he doesn't have flash! And because of the flask start, they read it and Fnatic get the all-in. Rain ever comes across to the mid lane. There's that other point of this one. It's Isosceles because here comes the gank for the top lane as well as the mid lane there. And Rookie losing all of his health. And there it comes in. But at the same time, a fight in the bottom side. Ulti used on the Kitties Keep Alive. Reckless tries to zone the team out. This Annie so low. But there come the teleports. Hootie has arrived. And oh, 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 holy crap. Everyone's dying in this fight. Reckless goes down. Zatai gets a bunch of Hootie! 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 Hootie!
and communicate with Jirgen, okay, and from from the mid game, talk with Boris to assign the lanes, okay, and shot color all the team fights, okay. Yeah, let's go. We got this voice. One, two, three, five. HQ have to decide where do they prioritize the fight. Teleport comes in for Hooney and Yellow Star and a quiet oh. taste before he gets taken out. Hooney face dives over the wall and Fnatic are stuck in the pit. Featherfin's got some AoE and oh. Oh, gets eaten by Tom Kench, regurgitates it over the wall and Hooney's still looking for it. They got him! They've got him shut down, but it may not be enough. Oh. Double kill as Hooney picks that one up. Reckless will get shut down by Mountain and Featherfin's in full retreat. Gets the Mimic, that's gonna eat a death mon and Westor will get one and not get a second. Albus eats him four for three as everybody wants to die. Zed's around, they're gonna go for on. There's the hard dive. Can he get the tough catch? Yes, Albus saves him for now, but he's gonna get spit it oh, out. Oh, and Fenerman. perfectly times the W. Sonia's pop, Westor running, but the cleanup crew is here. Ziv has already popped off, but he can deal a bit more damage. However, he's corralled into the wall, and Fnatic say thank you very much and pick up three kills to one. Fnatic are gonna set up a challenge, but the cocoon does not connect. He doesn't help on Baron. Westor's already low. Fabian Fabian! Oh! Running and running away, keeps alive with QSS, but still more damage from Ziv and Co. Yellowstar pops ulti to do basically nothing. Two members already done on one side. It's gonna be another. On is on a killing spree, and Hootie and Co. will kill off Ziv. Now, Mountain, did you overstep? On is still around. Choppers come in. There's the kill for Hootie. And the rest of Fnatic, they've jumped in for the engage. Feverman wants the kill, but he's not gonna get it. On gets the shutdown. And now Huni jumped on by Westor. He doesn't have Zonia's. That's gonna be the second kill. A big misstep for Fnatic. They lose three. One more eat, but how far back can he get? Mountain by his time. The taunt lands on QSS as he's exhausted and trying to run. Hootie, can he get the damage? Oh, he can't. Oh, he gets another kill. Almost will get chucked back. Here comes Westor. Reckless QSS gets the kill back. Three kills for Fnatic. Now Yellowstar hit up by Ziv. The taunt comes through. Reckless still alive. It's only Odd who's up. They don't want to overstay their welcome in the mid lane. Oh no, maybe they do. They're going back for the top side. The winner takes first seed and goes to London. The loser has to play Cloud9 for a shot on. He's going to get devoured by Albus and AHQ will be happy with their inhibitors. Fnatic on the verge of losing their third inhibitor. Yellowstar should go down Gone. to this death mark. The face of the mountain will not save him. Ziv's looking for a stun and he's found Rain over. We do see Ziv getting down. He's dunked by Reckless. This could be the final fight. Fenerman and Rain go on. They killed him. Double kill for oh, Fenerman. No. And Hooney gets more. They can push for the base right now. They can knock down Westor. Now's the time to go. You've got more than a minute. Can these guys push enough? But keep in mind, three in are dead, the base would die without intervention. The crowd is on their feet, and Fnatic find the AoE damage to kill AHQ. The time is a ticking, 50 seconds and counting for Fnatic to finish the game. 20 seconds till the respawns come in. Hooney sets up the shield. They have the cast minion. It goes down, but the other turret is available. It is backdoor buff, but it's Fnatic gonna be enough. Fnatic there are no the respawns, and Fnatic take the first seed. Fnatic has to face EDG. Has to face 
race EDG, what a tough challenge. Let's see who we're drawing here. Will be the EDG yeah, will be draw. EDG. That's difficult, Jack. That is really tough. It was the toughest opponent we could get. At the same time, if we really want to be in the finals, we have to beat the best teams, right? So for us, it doesn't matter really. But in the end, I still think it would be a really, really hard series against EDG. I think it was the one we could possibly want to avoid. So we'll see. Don't lie. We, we can In go. In a nice way, we need to go. We can go. <laughs> <laughs>I guess for the past week we've been in London, we've been practicing really hard uh, ever since we managed to get through groups. London feels so far like a hotel I've been spending the past five days in. Uh, it's not much more to it honestly than just swapping city and then staying in another hotel. But I guess this time at least we got to see a bit of the city since we uh, went to the London Eye together with all the other teams which for me was quite cool because I haven't like done that before or done any sightseeing before. so. I think it was quite cool to do something like that. I think most of the teams actually appreciated it. I mean, some of the some of the players probably rather play solo queue or something, but I think it was quite nice to get get to do something together that wasn't league related. Best weather, guys. Best weather, right? It's actually surprising. You can feel the wind. No, no. Swedish. Come on, man. This supposed to be like the most. Able to yeah, adapt yeah. To this, this, right? this feels like Swedish. This, uh, I guess when you were living in Sweden, it's like something winds, you know. It's just, it's just the air. <laughs> the air is cold. The air is just cold. This is Sweden. That's fine. Really nice as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll do a walk down. We'll do a and then like in the back. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Okay. Do you want to start back up a bit? Okay. Okay, Robert. Okay, action, guys. Do we have to do this? Go, 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 go. He said action, and then we go. Yeah. I lost. Uh, okay. Ready, guys? Action! I think we might have an advantage in this, but, this, but at the same time we have three fresh players this year, which might have the same thing that the enemy team has, so I think it's mainly up to me and Bora uh, specifically to like keep the boys calm, basically. Make sure your keyboard and mice work, make sure all your settings are there, make sure your Rizzo Mashies are all good. Uh, if you need to make any changes, that's fine, let us know and we'll save them for you. Yep. Go for it, sir. It's actually small. No, it's not. Trust me. It's small. It's be, mm, no, trust me. It's like 5K, no? Uh, no. How many is, how, how many is this? It's like...
Hvad så du? Jeg gider ikke en pupil, hvad? Complete and normal, don't worry. Next, you, uh, we cannot use any more of this, but I, can have with the <laughs> I need at. Yeah, I'll do it. What do you mean? Do, 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 do. You want to die? I think I will give it a go. It's gonna be a bit slow. How bad things are. How bad things really. Eugene, how bad is it? Not bad. Not bad? No, it's not bad. <laughs> nice smell. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, for today, our mind game, our mental game is gonna be even more important than normally, okay? So this is a best of five. So not only we need to be cool during the games, we need to be cool in every play during the game, but also for the next games, okay? So it's the most important thing. The way of achieving this is with communication, okay? I wanna do the same thing that we did in the in the last day, in the group stage, okay? So Bora and, and Gigi and I want both of you planning constantly, okay? But for today, I have one more thing for both of you, okay? If we feel that the communication drops in any lane, I want both of you to help this lane pick up the communication, okay? Fabian and Martin, both of you, you're the link of the communication, and at the same time, Fabian, I want you all the time talking with Eugene, okay? Asking for help, telling him he can go deep, watch, whatever, okay? Okay, Puni, I want you rock solid again, okay? You did really good, I want to see exact same performance, okay? And at the same time, I want you helping assign the lanes, okay, and shot calling for a team fight, okay? So, if we control our emotions, we will control our mind and we'll be ahead. And this is how we win the game. Fanatic best team. Let's go. One, two, three. Fanatic! Starting on the blue side for game one, the number one seed from the European League of Legends Championship Series. But it's going to be Fnatic! Gentlemen, Yellow Star, he fancies this one. Is it a power pulverized onto Clear Lab? The Unbreakable Will is there as well. Rainovers jumped in. Death has got dunked by the Cataclysm and he's dropped. The Grand Challenge is onto Huni and it procs, healing up EDG. But it does not matter. Goro's killed through the heal. Clear Lab stunned up by Reckless. The Pulverize connects. Fnatic find three kills. Rainover goes back and he's left the tunnel. They're going to commit. Death Sentence finds Yellow Star, the Baron's being bursted so quickly. Pawn has started to channel his TP, but it may be too late. Two and a half thousand hit points on Baron. Will it get secured by a Fnatic? And it does! The knockup finds two, the oh! dunk finds four, and the Maelstrom melts Edward Gaming, sending a massive message that Fnatic want to win the first game in this series. Fnatic have got Baron empowered minions. Knocking down the Nexus! Yep. Yeah, no. Church is up now, we can do this. We got it, we got it. Just take, just you got take. that. You got it! Longo, longo! Nice! We nice. just nice. First game, nice guys. Just, just remember, okay, that this is a best of five, okay? So we need to keep cool during the games. So now we, we are able to plan ahead for the next game, okay? making a move on Huni, as you mentioned it. There are wards only for EDG here. Huni's in so much trouble. He does not manage to flash away. He's gonna get the movement speed buff. They get a little bit more burst from his passive. And here is Yellow Star. The Unbreakable is not gonna be used just yet. And Yellow Star is in trouble. He's now in full retreat. Death Sentence finds Reckless, but there's no follow-up, and the Dragon should drop shortly. Hold up there as Koro is challenging Huni to a duel. Flash away from Huni, flash forward for Koro. The Vercana Barrage comes down, and Huni does stay alive. They trade ultimates and flashes, but that's a big loss for Huni. I also must say, an important thing for Fnatic is not to all blow their ultimates at the same time. As soon as EDG initiate, they have to be careful. Because Fnatic have so many tools, they have to be careful not to overlap all of them. Uh, I've heard from production that there is a keyboard-related issue with Rainover. Uh, the Q key, actually, specifically. So we're getting that result. very important. Getting that result <laughs> right now.
They need some help. Looks like we're going to have to send it over to the analyst desk, though. That we are. Unfortunately, guys, we will head to the analyst desk. I'll keep you entertained and informed while we resolve the problem. The issue that appeared in-game prevented Rainover from casting the Gragas Q spell. And the refereeing team, they did investigate and exhaust every single option to resolve the issue in-game, including allowing Gragas to die and attempt to resolve the matter. After the issue remained, Fnatic was then offered the opportunity to remake, which they accepted. That is, as per the rules, the remake will now include new picks and bans because team strategies were revealed, including playstyle. Gragas will rename, remain enabled because of the popularity of the champion on the current patch, but we will state right now, if the bug does reappear, the champion will be disabled for the remainder of the tournament. So, what we did in the mid-game was perfect, okay? We were playing the strut really good, okay? <sighs> so if we go in the game again with the same strut, just try to do the same thing. Guys, this is the remade game two of this best of five. I think they're gonna turn their attention onto Koro. He's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Grand challenge comes down, body slam connects. Koro will get dropped and it's first blood to Fnatic. But Bourne will teleport in and get himself one back. Hooney's on the way out. We'll have that broken wing slash to get more. Hooney does get dropped by Clear Love. It's a messy fight so far, two for two. And it's Jungler on mid lane action. Oh! Gets a triple kill gets out! That Baron, because as a poke comp, if you have oh. to face check in towards the Baron, you really hate it. Yellow Star, he's eating Clear Love. He is, but his health. Grey Health is being burned through. The barrel pulls Maiko backwards and a big AoE. Maiko's been tagged and a quiet taste will not even be needed. Get excited with Reckless and Feathervin cleans up. Fnatic find three and in a turret, uh, we'll find out if Tom Kedge manages to make it through the rest of picks and bans. Def gets caught out. The event horizon will not be enough to kill Rainover. And Def is running away. A three man stun. Hooney's not able to push EDG back. The tower falls. So does Koro. Inhibitor number three is down. Fnatic of Super Minions looking towards the Nexus turrets. And they will drop the Nexus turrets. Fnatic rebound after a difficult start. And they will crush Edward Gaming. Nexus turret is a matter of time as Fnatic take the lead 2-0 and are one game away from a semi-final and a top four minimum at Worlds. is teleporting in for Koro. Flash comes up, followed by Yellow Star, and Fnatic should pick this one up real clean, real simple, <laughs> and it's first blood to Hooney. Pow Pow wants to take down this inner turret. Beverly did so much work to drop it low earlier. He's gonna flank. Let's find out. They have to the win this fight. Is thrown for death. The body slam gets interrupted. And Clear Love cannot chase further thanks to the Flame Chompers. Reckless takes him down as Goro and EDG are running for their lives. The Flash wins Slash does not dash anybody's life. And Huni is alive thanks to Face of the Mountain. Yellow Star saves his life. The AoE rocket from Reckless get the second of the fight. They've got the tower and they're on the in him and use the Vagar Siege comp after seeing it here, but it didn't work out for them either. Fnatic burning this Baron down. Oh, they've got it before EDG are even in range, <laughs> and Yellowstone play. started to initiate. Pawn is knocked up in the air so long, he may as well have frequent flyer miles. Pawn will try to rift walk away and get shut down. Rainover is out. It's a double for Reckless. He wants to run down more. Def, his brother in arms, will Big be his Brit. dead man in arms. That's a triple. Hooney finds Clear Love in the back and Reckless with the rest of Fnatic. They're on to the Nexus and Fnatic will advance to the semi-finals. The only team to do that three times in the World Championships.
To be honest, I didn't think that we would sweep the series against EDG. I actually realized that after the, the last little bit we pushed, like, we all, oh, we won this game, you know? I didn't expect that at all, because EDG is not that a weak team. They have like big names, but we made it to 3-0 them on big stage, so it was actually a really good experience. Yeah, it gave us some confidence, so we'll see what happens next against Ku. is uh, Belgium for semi-finals against Ku. Some of them is my friends, but I will beat them. It's been quite a relaxing week, I would say. Not in terms of like not practicing or like having the same rhythm as we had in London and Paris. We have still been going with our daily and weekly schedule with practicing twice a day, making sure that we're on top of our game. But the, I would say the biggest difference is just that in London, things just really, really felt like worlds. Like the hotel itself was super exclusive. A lot of people outside the hotel, you could never really do anything without feeling like a complete superstar. But coming here to Brussels, we're like staying a bit out of, outside of the city. It's a quiet neighborhood basically. So it, there, it doesn't really necessarily feel like we're playing the semifinals of Worlds. This is like the third time I am personally reaching the semifinals. It's been really different. For example, the first season, there was no major Asian teams. They didn't get to dominate the scene yet. The third season, we lost to a Chinese team. who were not prepared enough to be a contender for the world title. But this year, I feel like we have more chances because we've won against uh, a Chinese team, which was not the case two years ago. I just saw the stage and it looks really promising. It's the first time we're going to play on this setup. It just looks cool, right? Like having the stage in the middle, like all the power of the crowd like gathered in the middle, you know? An experience of a lifetime playing in this, in this stadium. And it would be even better if we managed to win. So, fingers crossed. Behind on me there's crowd, next to me there's crowd, in front of me there's crowd, so I think it's, it's going to be really nervous, but at the same time I, I think it's going to be really exciting and there's a lot of people, so I think it's going to be really cool. I don't know my password anymore. I'm so nervous. Look! Help! What is my password? It's a bit weird because now I, I don't see like anyone in front of me, but there's actually people behind me, so it feels super weird now. So I will have people cheering all over the place, so it will feel it will sound different. I want to lift it so bad, you know, because <laughs> because the opponent is so heavy, one person cannot lift it, and I just want to grab it and just hold it up so to prove it wrong. <laughs> Try it, man. Easily, easily. No, no, I can't touch it. They said unless we win it, I cannot touch it. 
Can we please send to that guy? Please don't touch the trophy. Can I have you guys come up here this way? Not yet. Oh. It was just one week ago that I welcomed you guys to the quarterfinals. It is with great pleasure that I welcome both of you to the semifinals. So congratulations on making it this far. I also feel that this year is very special because the gap between all the teams is not as big as years ago. And we get to play in Europe. And I really think that the crowd is cheering way more for us and it gives us like boost, but at the same time it gives us more pressure in a sense that we really expect us to perform, not to disappoint them. And at the same time, when you hear the people like cheering you up or cheering for you, chanting your name or your, the name of your team, it feels really great. And it, it just gives us some more energy. I really love it. Ooh. You want me to do like this? They're gonna, they're gonna want to do high five. Uh, running. Uh, here, it actually feel good like after winning that, uh, looking that the, the crowd is happy because we win and then I feel sad that the crowd is sad after when we're losing the game. I think it's just like really advantage for us that we're actually playing the world at Europe because of the crowd. You walk the entire stage, yeah. the, like everybody in this arena gets to see you guys yeah. with their own eyes. And that's important for me, and I hope that that's important for you guys. Yeah. All right, be happy. They're gonna be cheering for you. They're gonna, you know, call your names out or whatever. Like, live it up. Especially when you come up those stairs, turn. Look at those guys behind you. They're there's gonna be thousands of people right there. So like, right when you walk up the stage, you get this like... Yeah, just uh, absolutely, upstairs. absolutely. And then, you know, when you're walking over, you're walking over your logo, you guys land here, you know, right. we're gonna call your name. Feel pumped, be excited, okay? okay. The last four team is basically Europe team and Korean teams. EU versus uh, Korea. I'm kind of proud of proud of that. I'm proud of OG and I'm proud of our team too. It's really cool actually because I'm not European and then I'm just coming for here playing for Europe team. Now they collapse in the mid though. Baron up minions and they take it. Oh, Whoa! the long con four v five. How about we push mid? How about they pick off Mithy as well? Lulu won't means nothing. More flash to run away and Origin routed out of their own base in a fight that again. It's so hard. And so as will die, potentially his last death of the world championship as SKT are already on to the Nexus turrets. Niels goes down four in three, but it's not going to be enough. Faker wreaking havoc inside the base. There's turret number two. There's no stopping him now. It's time for SKT to make it to the finals undefeated. It's the first time in a tournament that we're going to play against a Korean team. The Korean teams really, really, really play like a unit, you know. They have five players, but when you're facing these guys, it really, really feels like you're just facing one player, you know, because they all do the same thing really well. I want to check these two scenarios, okay, where they go Alistair Lee, Alistair uh, Ash, even though this should be unlikely. Ku has changed their playstyle over time. So I think now they are really into the meta, they use like supports that can roam a lot and they have a good style to prevent our gameplay so I think it's going to be really tough for us. We have to be ready for them because I think else they're just gonna run over us but I feel like we put in a lot of work during the past week or even the past weeks uh, leading up to the semi-final and I feel like we are as ready as we could ever be and uh, we're playing this game without regrets. A bit nervous because if I lose, then uh, I'm going to be really sad. For now, my feelings like that, so I don't want to lose. If we manage to play properly and just not get too excited, or if we can control our game instead of going to a messy game, I think we can take the series. I feel fine in the same way I would feel like facing any other team. I think they're a strong team and it's going to be a challenge. But if we approach the games with a proper mindset, I think we shouldn't have any problem, we should be able to beat them. Working hard and like pursuing your dreams as a player, 
is rewarding because what we've been working for the whole year is for this tournament, which is the most important. At the same time, like during the tournament, it's really hard to get perspective of things, you know, it's like really hard to, to realize what a moment you're in. Because for us, it feels like we're doing something we've been doing for such a long time already, you know, just playing the game, making sure we, we're good players, we're a good team. But this is actually like the moment of our lives, you know. As we know, communication, we keep our cool, okay? And we got this. One, two, three, three flat it! Let's go! Ooh. Ooh. Please join me in welcoming the participants for today's semi-final, starting from the European League Championship Series, Fnatic! Let's go, boys! Oh, the gods of first blood wish to decree Smith, the sacrificial top laner, to reign over Han Hooney! Gentlemen, Fnatic like to teleport bottom and they have it available. It's already being channeled from Hooney. Yellowstar may get dropped low as Hojin gets knocked up in the air. First kill for Ku. Now Hooney's looking to get one back. The slicing Maelstrom will not be enough. Double kill for Smebs Riven. Onslaught of Shadow splits everyone from Ku away. And they are coming. Back. Two for one. Feathervin wants to clean up. It's a triple for Smith. Will he get more? That's one for Feathervin. He's got the shutdown. Turns on to and Brain Radiant. as Rainover finds him more. Farming is the power. They trade four for two or three. It was messy. <laughs> it was an absolute bloodbath right there. Four for three. Gorilla's already gone low. The depth charge has been thrown out. Fate's call has been used as well. Rainover is in a lot of trouble. He's not tanky enough to survive under the tower. Onslaught will keep Ku together. Huni continues to tank the tower. Fnatic have overreached, overbitten, and Ku have struck back. Reckless is down to 200, flashed away. The Smep is looking for at least one more. That's a triple for Kuro. Kassadin has been activated, and that lead is shrinking. And here's the flank. Well, we do. Hooney's found Bray. Bray is gone. Hojin wants to bounce, but it's going to need to be away. Gorilla will get dropped as well. And Fnatic punish the overextension in the mid lane, and they peel back the Baron. Absolutely ideal from what Fnatic wanted there. They assassinate Prey without even needing Febaven. Now, Zach could do a flyover steal. That's one thing he can do, but it would have to be like he's channeling. Here he comes. Let's take a look. The elastic slingshot just to bounce away. Smeb has gone back in looking for Yellow Star. Will get stunned by Reckless. That's the third kill of this engage. But they have delayed and cancelled and stopped the Baron. Fnatic are not together though. They're waiting for Yellow Star to get up. Huni and Rain are trying to buy time. They've killed themselves. They're Zap and they're looking for more. Prey is on the retreat. He's got Can the life the steal though. And with Reckless down, Smeb is going huge. Yellow Star is late to the party. It's a triple kill for Smith. Oh, oh. We have to wait for five. You will have to wait for me, guys. Yep. Four for one to Ku Tigers. 
Fnatic has to win this one. They have to win this fight this right here, it. right now. There is no margin for error. Febivin's looking for the flank and Huni's looking for prey. Febivin's jumped to half HP and Kuro, he's coming from the Baron pit. He's jumped onto four members of Fnatic and so is Hojin. Yellow Star's down. Febivin manages to get the distortion as the onslaught of shadows will send prey back to the shadows. Hojin gets his passive pop. The cell is divided and Ku may be too. That's a double kill for Huni. Stop the TP. blocks will get squashed, and Fnatic, they start the Baron. Reckless is on it. Have Fnatic done it? Wow, what a bold fight there by Fnatic. This is the fight of the game. The teleport is coming down for Smeb, and the dragon oh, he stopped looks it. like it will get secured. Picked up by Fnatic, but Fevervin is forced away. Smeb will not find the kill, and Fevervin jumps in the pit. They've traded AD carry for support, but Fevervin's down as well. Reckless needs to survive and tank. The shields are there, but there may not be enough. He's flashed out, and Kuro chases him. That's a triple, looking for more. Huni's getting run down, and Huni will not find anything. A quadra for Kuro. And that's the game! It's time. Focus for our next game, guys. The minions have conga lined in and the cool, calm, collected Ku Tigers will pick up their first victory and are one step closer to an all-Korean final with SKT. It's fine. Cheer up for next game. Focus on communication and creating plans and executing, okay? Full focus. We got this. Let's yeah. go, guys. Okay, Stunner. so... Febivin's in trouble. Rayanova's got the blue buff, but now he's been challenged by Smeb. And Huni's a long way away. The challenge has been popped. First blood to Kuro and double buffs. All right, Huni gonna pick a fight once more with Smeb. And Grand Challenge throws down. Smeb flashes away from the third proc of the Broken Wings. Huni will find a oh. but fails the flash. This is in trouble. Rain over in Yellow Star. They've got caught out. Unbreakable Will's being used, and Hojin is trying to bounce all up in Reckless's face. Smeb is oh. down. But look at Huni. He gets obliterated by Kuro. Rain over is in trouble. Baron Pit is where Yellow Star is trying to escape. He's forced to flash over the wall. 5v2 now. Baron is alive and may be able to get some hits down onto Smith and Hojin. Fate's call will be thrown onto Febivin and Febivin finds the kill, but the event horizon locks him in place and Prey will shut him down. Teleport's being channeled by Huni and Fnatic. They need to get something back. Yellowstar flashes forward, gets the knockup, but Hojin jumps back in. The Event Horizons come back off cooldown and is once again locked Fnatic out. Yellowstar's already down, as is Huni. Ku are looking for a rampage. Gorilla jumps forward. He manages to find another as Smeb's running down Febivin. Fnatic get aced and lose the Baron. What happened this game? Oh. Huni's in so much trouble. He's got no flash either. Valor will give some distance, but Kuro isn't going to channel the Event Horizon until now. Bebevin's caught out, and he's been bounced on by Hojin. Impale's been used, and Fnatic have managed to find Prey. Now Gorilla's too far forward. Kuro's going to fall. Huni's got himself a double kill. Gorilla's trying to run away. Rainover is going to get the uh, movement speed from his W and try to chase him down. Fnatic have held strong one more time. Baron has now been started by Fnatic. They're trying to chunk it down. It's about two thirds HP. Ku are looking to re-engage. The Asha is available. Baron secured by Fnatic and Hojin's locked out. They've got Smeb. Smeb's GA has been popped. Rainover and Huni trying to run the distance. They're trying to interfere. Back, 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 we can win, we can win, we win this shit. Focus, we need to focus, please. What about this Dragon? is going to be hard because that. they have TP advantage, they have two TPs. We have that situation where Fnatic is looking to win two or three fights to make sure they can <laughs> then close out the game where Ku Tigers is waiting for that one team fight. Save his own carries, that might be enough, they're going in now. Febivin's in trouble, he's been bounced up, exhausted, and he's down! That's the last hope for Fnatic! Rainover's running away as Smeb's zoning him. Reckless has got his shield pop, knocked up as Yellow Star kicks him away. Reckless goes down, double kill for Prey. Rainover and Huni trying to get out, and Smeb still alive. The repost will apply the slow, the knockup from Hojin Zack. And with Fnatic's base exposed, 
Two Tigers find themselves another kill. Killing spree for Prey, and they're going for the Nexus. So much has happened in these first two games, but both games are ultimately decided with Febben dying in a fight without doing damage. He has played his heart out to keep them in these games, but he hasn't had quite enough, and this will be Kuop going 2-0. The deficit was too big, and Ku Tigers are 2-0 against Fnatic. Early mid game, and then we got this next game. Did we say we are going top? We need backup right now. Yes. Yeah. So you guys yes. need to move right now. Yes. Okay. No, but so we we were, I, I was preparing on the top TP, but they, when they use TP, I cannot TP because there there was nothing to do. Yeah, they were already dead. No, but uh, not you guys already dead. The problem was not, I, there there was zero war. There was a minion. So what do we do, husbands? Okay, so what, what what is this guy gonna play if we ban Raven? No, but I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just asking for you know, if we what what is. What is reason than Be because mid, mid plays mega safe, but we actually like shit on them, and then in team fight those champions Fiora and Raven have so much mobility. If they play Darius, it's super easy to kite this guy, but Fiora is hard to kite, and Raven is hard to uh, kite as well because she has three jumps, dash and flash. Don't give up. Let's continue being strong mentally, okay? And if we are not, let's do it, okay? We have everything we need. We just need to we just need to grab the balls and go in. Okay, and we just going to destroy them. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three. Oh boys! Come on! We really need to control our emotions. He has a time. The yellow star's in trouble. He's been caught by the crystal arrow. The TP is gonna bring some more play from Kuro. They get themselves a second kill, and maybe even the tower if they stick around for this next wave. Now that was a good play by Ku. So when we even hurt Yellow Star Smith, say, oh, let's see what happens top. All right, let's throw everything and the sink at Smith. He's already chunked Hooney down. The flay comes out. Oh, oh, of shadows. Man. Smith's got one and he's not done. He's looking for Yellow Star and Rainover. Rainover unburrows the rest of Ku. Come in from the jungle. And ladies and gentlemen, if Hooney wasn't tilted already, that may be the play that does it. Gorilla's gone in and found three. The arrow connects onto Reckless and he's dead. He gets kicked backwards. Gorilla's the one with the kill credit. We just see Huni take the lantern to safety. Tower, will it give Fnatic some breathing room? But Prey again, finding the enchanted crystal arrow. Reckless had flash. Smith may a little bit out of position. Huni and Yellowstar trying to jump him down, but Gorilla comes forward. The Shockwave finds four. There's simply not enough ability power. Yellowstar and Rainover, like lambs to the slaughter. They throw themselves at the wall. Huni has arrived from the back line. Dragon's Rage finds four. Ash Arrow onto Feathervin as well. Gorilla's still running interference. Reckless has got a kill onto Hojin, and Gorilla's unbreakable will is quite early. So the bad, bad, bad plays have resulted in a net plus one kill. Defensive flay to get rid of Smith. Hooney's trampled underneath the weight of that uh, power pony. Reckless is in trouble. The shockwave's already been pulled. And Fnatic's last chance, last ditch effort is being strangled away. Focus, uh, mm. let's, let's win. Don't worry, we can win. Almost all the champions can start the fight for Kuh Tigers and get that one pick and they even spike in this mid game. Hooney's in trouble. The onslaught will throw Smith far enough to get the kill credit. Reckless is now exhausted and Yellowstar's trying to run interference. There's no box available for zoning. It's a double kill for Smith and Kuro gets his third. Smep, he doesn't care about Huni no, down here at all. Not at all. Three level difference. The wild growth comes up. Huni's going to get shut down. Gorilla finds two with the pulverize. And despite the decent shockwave, it will not matter. Reckless is on the retreat. feverbin has got no mana. And Smep just prances into his face. Takes another inhibitor away from Fnatic. Gorilla's found Reckless and Smep once more. Reckless gets feared towards his Nexus. Febbervin's on the retreat, waits for Exhaust to tag before throws down the Shockwave. Huni wants to try clean up, but the Dragon's Rage will send the team away. It is a double kill for Fnatic. They're defending, but it's very little. It's very late, and I don't think it's going to matter. And the fire of Fnatic on home soil looking to be extinguished. The Ku Tigers have killed Huni. 
four members of Fnatic left to try wave clear, but the Dragon's Rage knocks them in the air. Shockwave cannot even complete, and the Koo Tigers looking to upset the hometown heroes. Koo will get themselves the ace, will get themselves the base, and will earn themselves a shot at the Summoner's Cup in Berlin against SK Telecom. I think right now I feel a lot of things at once. First of all, I'm quite sad because we fell flat in the semi-finals. When you group, I see uh, Martin crying and then Huni was a uh, big crying too. So, And then I realized that how hard we practiced, how long it was to actually come here. Cool Tigers were the better team today. I think there's no, no taking away this victory from them. I really think they, um, they showed up bigger than we did today. This is one of the hard truths of world championships. 16 teams show up and everybody loses except the champions. We lost in a pretty bad way. We couldn't show the fans that came here, fans that are watching us online, how good we are. I just look back at what we've accomplished this year. I feel happy, you know. I just feel quite proud, you know, over what we've accomplished as a team. Like we went 18-0, winning two two LCS in a row, going world semi-final. It's like pretty awesome for a new team, you know. Nevertheless, it's been like one of the best five months of my life. I think ever since I came back to the team, I'm kind of just excited for the future as well, but. I think right now it's mostly just sadness, I guess. I've never felt that tired before, so I think I'm going to enjoy like some rest. <laughs> Something that I've basically almost never done before, but I will try to sleep more because I'm always like doing so much stuff that it's hard for me to just chill out. So hopefully everyone will go home, get some rest, and then we'll come back stronger and refreshed. Tomorrow I'm planning to go Korea with my mom. She's here now with me. I actually think I'm just gonna keep playing. I just wanna rest. I need to relax. I have to stop working and have a little bit of life. It's been exhausting since, since Korea. Like since the beginning of September, working nonstop, literally 24 seven with barely breaks and also traveling around the, around the world. It's really tiring. So I'm just going to till. I will just relax with my girlfriend, uh, meet a couple of friends, play some basketball, enjoy a bit my life. I don't know yet. <laughs> we will see you yeah, you don't know yet, but you will know next year. See you. See you.